Number 10. Kingdom Hearts 3 Fans had to wait more than a decade to receive, at long last, the third entry in this popular series. In certain ways, it delivered and apparently it was worth the wait. While the story and chronology went on to create never-ending memes, at least the gameplay was refined and fun to play. Number 9. Atelier Risa, Ever Darkness and the Secret Hideout This one was a big success and quickly rose over the charts, surprisingly. Through this, it felt as if it was developed with a new engine with improved graphics and interface. Also, the battle system was different now, it still worked out in turns, but with an attack waiting bar. Plus, you could only directly control Risa. Sounds like a chore, but for some reason, it worked well and people loved it. Number 8. Oninaki The third game created by Tokyo RPG Factory. This time it is an action RPG, in isometric view with some Diablo influences, Dark story, still with some charming ornaments in the design, but melancholic nonetheless. Oninaki once again is a beautiful game with neat gameplay mechanics and interesting cast of characters. This underrated gem is one of the best JRPGs of 2019. Number 7. Persona Q2 New Cinema Labyrinth since the first one was successful, Atlus wasted no time to use their Etrian Odyssey shenanigans once more. On this occasion, the cast from Persona 5 joined the others in a new cryptic adventure. Now that you had even more characters than before, from three memorable and beloved games, imagine how much more fun it was. Number 6. Trials of Mana Originally released in 1995, known for many years as Seiken Densetsu 3, that's right, it was a third game in the Mana series, but remained only in Japan for a long time. It wasn't until Collection of Mana was released in 2019 that an official English release of it finally reached the outside world. The following year it got a remake, but we'll get to that some other time. Great game and, well, I've always said it, far better than its two predecessors. Number 5. Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition out of all the ports and remasters I could have included here, you're probably wondering why this? Well, because back in 2008 we got the butchered vanilla version in the Xbox 360. The PS3 one stayed in Japan and that was a better one. This version is an enhanced port of it with two previously missing playable characters, new content and polished gameplay. It's not called definitive edition for nothing, you know? Number 4. Fire Emblem Three Houses Yet another marvelous addition to the series, even though it didn't quite feel like a true Fire Emblem anymore. Regardless, it was still an overly fantastic game with its completely different roots and several memorable characters. So many new gameplay mechanics were introduced here that it simply became a very addictive RPG to play. Number 3. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3 After so many years of waiting in the dark, us fans of this series finally got our wishes granted. The third entry of this wholesome tetralogy arrived in our lands. 
It continues the story on the second game where it left off, but with some new main characters involved. But if you missed the guys from the previous two games, don't worry, they're here too. Very, very good game, takes a while to really start off, but it's totally worth it once reaching its climax. Number 2. Code Vein. One of the darkest adventures I've ever enjoyed in a video game. Always been a huge fan of post-apocalyptic and gothic stuff, so Code Vein enamored me, even since the trailers. A very daring but highly addictive action RPG, full of strategy and challenge. Excellent graphics too, as well as a notoriously interesting character design, in all sense of the word. Number 1. Dragon Quest XI on the Switch Yes, again this masterpiece crowns itself twice in a row. Why? Because this new version added a lot of content. You can play the entire game in 16-bit and 2D graphics, the whole soundtrack was orchestrated, more story, quests, Japanese dub, missions in previous titles of the series, etc. The game still looks much better on the PS4, but everything else is far superior here. Either way, you can't go wrong with either version of this legendary RPG, the undeniable king of both 2018 and 19. Another hell of a year! We even got a bunch of great remasters like Star Ocean, Grandia, Trails of Cold Steel and even The Alliance Alive. I guess we live in the time of remasters, huh? Anyway, that's it for this video and temporarily for this series. See you someday in 2020.